Hello, I'm Greg, and uh, today is going to be a bit of a different kind of video. This is going to be my car journey. Now, before I was in cars, I used to be on a scooter, you know, those Razor scooters. I used to take that thing everywhere. Then, one day, my wife gave me an upgrade. A, a five, an A5 Lux, there it is. Razor scooter. It was for adults bigger people I guess um, and yeah I took that thing to my first job and everything it was great yeah I went to college school my first job uh, I used to work at a paintball place and it was great I felt like love I got pretty skinny while doing it also then time passed I got my license and I got my first car now my first car was a 2004 Toyota Corolla. I got it a little after my first job and I got my second and third job at the same time, of course, oh, around the same time, I should say. And yeah, I got it then. I was I got helped from the first pastor of the church in getting the license and then I got help from the other pastor getting the car itself. Um, and so, yeah. And I got so many tickets in that car. Uh, I think it was because I was a new driver and it was a dark color, dark blue. Or maybe it was because I was a dark color. <laughs> Who knows? But all I know is I got a lot of tickets in that. And me and this car grew a lot together. It taught me things that I didn't know. And thought things I didn't know I could know. Um, from the things I did to this car, to the things I did to the car, I took my first child home with this car. You know, I, I helped replace a starter in this car, changed the oil, did some sparks plugs, <laughs> ate the best donuts I ever had in my life <laughs> in this car. <laughs> I even put my very first stickers that I made on this car. It was great. Then we went to Lollapalooza in this car. It was so good. That was the seesawiest day of my life. <sighs> the highest high to the lowest low. We saw a lot of artists we liked, danced a lot, ate some good food. We seen Joji twice. And then on the way home on Lower Wacker Drive. We got into an accident and I totaled my car in Chicago. Now, mind you, I live an hour away from Chicago. So I crashed in Chicago and me and my wife were in the car, but we weren't hurt, just the car. And I felt like I could have drove the car home, but it was leaking fluid. And we had an hour trip back, so obviously we wasn't going anywhere. And I learned a lot of things that night, you know. I learned first how my how my insurance towing worked. I didn't even know I had even I didn't even know how to do the towing at first. That was my first accident. And you know, how to file a claim and all that stuff. I also learned how to the dump works in Chicago, the, the car whatever that is the the dump the the garbage dump i don't know the place where they put cars that are wrecked and most importantly i learned never never ever to go down that lower wacker drive i had to go and see the car in like this little tow yard afterwards and so i had to walk down the lower wacker place that lower that lower streets of Chicago I don't know I don't know but um, yeah it was so creepy it was it was dark of course I'm not afraid of the dark but when you're in Chicago under the building no service and it's dark that gives it more spooky vibes and then on top of that you had the rats I've seen a rat that was so big. It was like 
I don't even know. It was like a small cat. No, not even. It was like a large cat. <laughs> uh, and it just, just, the tail was so long. It was like, I don't even know. It was, it was like as, as long as his body. And you know, rats, if you look at them, they're pretty, they're pretty long creatures. So, yeah. Uh, uh. Just imagine the rat king bunch of those stuck together no thank you then after i seen the rats there was the tent cities where you know i had money at that time where we didn't really go to a church but i did save up the tithe money just because you know somebody might need it and so i would i would carry around this money to give to homeless people um but that one that seemed weird i had it i had it with me I gave some to some people, but, you know, of course, giving money just to random homeless people is probably not helping. Um, and so the tent cities and the rats and the darkness and the being lowered with no signal was a very scary time, especially for me as a young man who had never experienced anything like that before. Um, and then... Yeah, that was a total loss. I even had some paintings in that car. But of course, I couldn't be without a car. My job requires a car. So I bought a 1998 Nissan Altima for 700 bucks. That car was trash. Terrible. It got me to where I needed to be, but... Boy, oh boy, was that car something else. That car was so old. It was only one year younger than me oh boy it traumatized me to say the least i put no stickers on this car i didn't care about this car well i mean i cared about it but i didn't you know i i didn't i didn't put and i didn't invest too much in this car i didn't want it too long um it was it was it, it was so rusty and loud I mean, it ran okay, other than the whole neighborhood hearing me, but it was a hunk of junk, and, you know, one day, something happened, and it started to smoke right in the middle of the street of me driving it, and I was on a route of my job, you know, I do merchandising, and um, I had to pull over, and I didn't know what was going on, I and I was all up in my prayer bag, so I was, I was praying, and boy, oh boy, I mean, I'm still in my prayer bag, but like, I was more, you know, more adamant about being, being close to God at that time, because I had more people around me to, um, but yeah, it was terrible, then one of the mechanics, they didn't shut the hood all the way to this car, when I went to go get it fixed, so then, when I was driving a supper time, bam, the hood lifted up and, and back and cracked the window, she the window, the window shield, the windshield, cracked the windshield. Oh my goodness. I thought I was going to crash again. I couldn't see anything. Stuff cracked the, 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 the windshield. Boy, oh boy, I was, I was flustered. I pulled over so fast. Luckily, they had a side street to pull over on. But man, I was, I was traumatized. I put it back, barely. Um, I was, you know, super scared and shaking. And uh, I, I fixed the best I could. The hood was all bent up and stuff, but it, it locked back in so it wouldn't happen again. And I saved up money so quickly that uh, I bought a new car. And I sent that thing to the junkyard. And it was a breath of fresh air getting, re getting rid of that piece of poo. Then I got me a 2005 PT Cruiser. I called it Pat. I like this car. I still like this car. Even though it was hard to work with. Um, like getting it fixed. Fixing things myself. Um, I, I invested a little more in this car. I put my my bumper sticker on it, and I put um, 
you know, I'll, I'll put some things on it. Some stickers and stuff like that. It was old. And before I bought it, it sat around for a, a while. And so there were some things that was wrong with it. And, um, yeah. The Pat was a good car, though. Um, I don't remember how much it was, but uh, it was compact, tall. It had a hatchback, which that I love. It was broken for a while, though. Actually, it might have been broken the whole time. But I got it open a few times. Yeah, and it was just unique. It was cream colored. The Nissan was white. The first Toyota was blue, dark blue. And then the, the PT Cruiser was uh, cream. It was also rusty, just like the, it was less rusty, but it was still rusty like the Nissan. And um, yeah, I was, I was proud to own this one though. Um, I lost some mem memories with it, and as well as this one, it ended really badly. Well, not really. It ended badly. Um, on this car, I changed my first spark plugs and the hoses. Spark plug with the hoses. Not just the spark plug, but the hoses too. I got a lot of tools and fixed on it occasionally. It was pretty fun. And then one bad part about this one was the shape. Like I already said, the shape was very, very hard to work with. It was tight and to do anything to fix it. So it was like annoying because the front is all pinched. So it was hard to get to certain things. And I try to put your hand down there. And this one um, also had me traumatic, trauma, traumatized. Because this one had a cooling problem. And a coolant, I don't know what the thing is with coolant and PT cruisers, but apparently it's, coolant, it's a problem. And uh, the coolant up. was dripping and leaving the engine to overheat. And that would make the car run terribly and could explode. So I had to turn it off for a while. That's all while driving. And mind you, at this time I was driving an hour away from oh, home to do the job. Which is stressful, right? Then, then, my wife was pregnant. So, me driving away, an hour away from home, with my wife being pregnant, do any day, the car overheating. And I, it had this problem ongoing for a while. It was so annoying. Thought I fixed it a couple times. Didn't work. Fixed the fan. That didn't work with the cooling. Um, just It just was all around a bad ending experience. Um, uh, so now I always check if my stuff is overheating or not. Even though I know it's not. It's still like I check it every time. At the end, I got the brakes fixed. And, and paid for it. And I thought I got the the stuff fixed apparently i think it was a head gasket which you had to basically replace the whole engine at that point and i had no money for that anymore so yeah i made a tiktok about how it ended too and the thing with car repairs is that they are so expensive and they don't give you time or to, to save up or anything it just happened and if you don't have any money you don't, don't have any car and so that one wasted my money and left me in a very tight spot you know i like that car a lot it wasn't that much of a good car and so um and that year it was it was very stressful I had to get a new car it was due any day we were alone and dealing with what we were going through um, especially with my car and my family, it was really tough. But you know, you know what? Just like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abimiko, or whatever their name is, just like them, we made it through the fire. He didn't pluck us out the fire, but we made it through the fire. So we stuck it through. Now, I have my latest car. This car, the 2012 Buick Verano. And as of March, I now own this vehicle. See, with all those other vehicles, I owned them since the moment I drove them off the lots mm -hmm. or the driveways. But this one, I actually did my first finance or 
police yeah. and um yeah my first venture into those scary credit games oh my goodness i don't i don't really like credit or anything like that um i like to just own my stuff pay it and be done with it but now i'm doing this credit stuff which can help you build wealth and stuff like that it's just like you know life is so unpredictable and if you bank on money that you don't even have it's like you know what do you do if you don't meet the criteria and so you know trusting in god myself and you know uh stability i got this car and i paid it off this year so i had it for a year paid it off right, within the year out. and uh yeah this one is i don't i don't love it but i don't hate it at all i like it and it is mine and i am proud to own it so now with all that being said that was my car journey and now for this baby here i think i want to decorate it yes that's right i'm gonna decorate my car i'm gonna put stickers on it I'm make my own stickers i'm gonna clean out the car because of course you need to clean out the car and i'm gonna get some things fixed things that i can anyway so the next video i'm gonna be designing stickers and put them on the car yeah i'm gonna be cleaning it out designing the stickers and putting them on the car so tell me what you guys think about my car journey do you have the same problems did you have the same problems if not then you are blessed <laughs> but if so tell me about it in the comments let me know because cars are crazy and it ain't right but yeah share your stories in the comments below or dm me or whatever you want to do make sure you like subscribe support a brother you know <laughs> support a support a guy yeah uh but yeah i'll see you guys next time bye